Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Rose Okafo. With me is my husband. I want to thank God for not allowing me to be a widow at this young age. I want to thank the name of the Lord. It all started August. There is a spirit of premature death in their family. His father died as at this his age now. This younger sister and two of his cousins. The father died at 45 and immediately he turned 45. This series of afflictions came on him. The younger sister died also and two of his cousins. The, the witches in the family, they've refused to die. The older ones, the younger ones are dying. August is started. He became sick. I said, uh -uh. we started moving from one hospital to another. We went to Kubwa. They rejected him. We were transferred to a Guagualada specialist. We was having high BP. His BP was very high. Sugar level was high. His blood, short, his blood was short. He was diagnosed of hepatitis. And they say he has kidney problem. As of that, that is for one person. And he had ulcer also. They diagnosed him of ulcer. Wait. He had what? Hypertension? Hypertension. His high BP was high. High blood pressure, yes. Yes. His sugar was high. Diabetes? Yes. They said his blood was low. is very low. Lower Amelia? than that of a child. Lower than that of a child? Yes. Yes. He has ulcer. Ulcer? Yes. And they say his kidney is bad. <sighs> Hepatitis B. That is a, and hepatitis B. Yes. That was a conspiracy him. of death. That he escaped this one, you can't escape this one. Escape this one, you can't escape that one. Escape this one, you can't escape that one. It was a conspiracy unto death. While we were in the Guagualada specialist, no any treatment was working. They did all they could. They got tired. After we stayed there like a month, he was vomiting and stooling. They released us. They say when he gets better, we'll continue with other treatment. That was how we dis they discharged us. Even the doctors got tired. So while we were at home, he started behaving mentally even at then. That's in addition again. Yes. While we were at home, he collapsed. So I brought the oil. I said, you can't die. You cannot die like a chicken. We don't die in dynamics like that. I brought the oil. I started praying. I started making declarations because when we were going to that hospital I remember calling daddy. Daddy called and prayed for him and cancelled every spirit of death around your life. I killed to that word. I started anointing with anointing oil. I said you can't die. Why you jacked off from life that day? He said he saw himself he was being held in a cage in a place where they were flogging him and asking him to admit that he will die. He refused to admit. They kept on flogging him, flogging him. All his bodies were a mark, wound. He said he won't die. Later he got tired, he wanted to give up. He said, no, how can he leave his wife and his four children? That was when he saw daddy passing. When he refused to give up, he saw daddy passing. He started calling and said, daddy, please help me. Daddy now turned back and said, what are you doing here? They should release this man. He said, no, we will not release him. Why should we release him? Daddy said, this is my son. Release him. He said, what is the evidence that is your son? Daddy brought out his certificate, membership certificate, and showed them. And I asked him whether he had undergone that training. He said, yes, he has. Daddy showed them his certificate and said, yes, my member. Daddy now said, oh yeah, pack your load, let's go. He said, there are so many Donamis members. They said, all of you release. Why they were about to go? Daddy now said, what about the wound on his body? Who will repair it? He said, go with him. We have given you the man. Now go with them, all of them, go. Daddy said, no. That was how so many pastors wearing suits with daddy. They began to shoot at them. Everyone was dead in that cage. They released him. Daddy gave him a bag that was there. He said, carry it for your repayment. Daddy carried all of them in his car, dropped them at their home, brought him back home, dropped him at the door of our house. That's how he entered and jacked back to life and told me what happened. Now, that encounter happened. This whole thing happened on a Monday. What did God's servant now tell him? Daddy now says, see you in healing and deliverance service. We came in for that healing and deliverance service. He couldn't walk the following day. He couldn't walk. We held him. The camera captured us. They had to carry him. 
not just camera, I was taking testimonies that day. I also saw how they were struggling to bring him in. Excellent. That's him. That was that he couldn't talk, he couldn't walk, even to eat. There was a time he didn't eat for two days. No food in his system. Because he would eat, he would vomit. He kept vomiting for over two months. And that was how we came here. After the power of God hit him that day, he started recovering and to the glory of God and to the shame of the... To the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. This is our brother today, alive and well, testifying for the whole world to see the faithfulness of God here. This is, this, this is, um, this is beyond speech. Beyond speech. Beyond speech. Beyond speech. As at this time, he had already been retrieved from those people. Yes, sir. But see you in the healing and deliverance service. The following day. The following day. And that was that healing and deliverance service. Yes, sir. Now, how he is now is the balance of how they dealt with him in that realm. Death has gone, but strength must come. Energy must come. Wholeness must come for the body. And that is how he is today. Listen. He said, by a prophet... The Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was a preserved. Your prophet determines your profit. To be profitless is to be profitless. Did you hear what I just said? Your prophet determines your preservation, determines your survival. He is my son. What is the evidence? See his membership certificate. Was that not what I was saying in church on Sunday? When I was making the membership call. That when it is time for you to be delivered. There must be the evidence. There must be the comfort. Angels must recognize. God must realize. That you belong somewhere. There is no assumption in the realm of the spirit. The devil is a law keeper. The Bible said the, the accuser of the brethren. He deals on the grounds of law spiritually. Church is not a place to go and look for miracle. It's the place to settle. It's the place to be pastored. It's the place to be mentored. God should be able to hold somebody accountable for your life and your destiny. It should be. And the devil should be able to know what man to, to fear once it concerns your life. The devil must be able to know what man to, to fear. At the end of this service, I'm going to give a membership call after the altar call. And I want this testimony fully documented. With all the various things that the man had. The hypertension. The diabetes. The anemia. The chronic kidney disease. The hepatitis. The peptic ulcer disease. And then the mental thing that came back later. In one man. They were already flogging him. Agree that you will die. Say, I, no, I cannot die. Agree that you are going to die. No, I cannot die. So you have a choice in the matter. You have a choice in the matter. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. I have placed before you life and death. Choose life that both you and your loved ones may live. Look at your neighbor and say you have a choice in the matter. You know? And then he saw his pastor passing. He said, leave this one. is my son. No, what is the evidence that is your son? It's like they wanted to do a spiritual gene diagnosis. Jesus is pulling you out today. What killed your father cannot kill you. You won't die like your father died. You won't die like your mother died. 
You won't die like your brothers died. You won't die like people in your family are dying. Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? Let's celebrate. Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do? What can't you take? 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 One more time. Creator of the universe. Creator of the universe. What can't you do? What can't you do? What can't you do? What can't you do? Jesus. Hey, you are the name of every You are the name above every other name. What can't you take? What can't you take? What can't you take? What can't you take?